Meowdy McHowderson, welcome back to the Fishbowl SMP. Didn't plan on recording on this today, but then I was just... I, I opened Minecraft because I needed a screenshot of Minecraft for something I'm working on, and then I ended up just going on the Fishbowl SMP, and then I've ended up working on a project, so I thought I might as well record. But, um, yes. I, I didn't actually get that screenshot yet, so maybe I should do that while I'm thinking about it. I need a lot of glass. But I thought of an idea of a mega base that I'm probably going to start next episode or before next episode. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -mm. I need, I need a, like a screenshot of a river. This is my guest house. It's still not finished. And I don't know if I'm even going to build a beach house for me. I might just build my mega base. It's vaguely inspired by one of Etho's previous Hermitcraft bases, but only vaguely inspired. It's not like copying or anything. Here we go. I've gotten my screenshot. Wait, wait, wait. I should get a couple screenshots, so I sh if I end up not liking it, I can do something else later without having to open Minecraft again. Oh, wrong button. I'm still gathering glass, though. There we go. That should do. I was using the furnaces in my guest house. Guest house, guest house. I just need a roof on the guest house. And probably more light, because I'm sure some of the rooms are dark. Hello, parrot. Wait, what's my volume at? Um... Hello, glass that I'm smelting. Oh, there must be a zombie under the floor somewhere too. Oh. My shovel really needs repaired. I might end up having to go to the end. I'm looking forward to whenever I finally install mods again, because it will be a lot easier with mini mods. I mean, mini mods with mini map. I don't get lost so easily then. I've probably got enough glass to go do some stuff now. Do I have any fire resistant potions? Because I'm I'm wanting to do things in the Nether. Hello. Potions. I do have potions. Have these always been so orange? They look differently coloured on my laptop screen. But then I think my laptop screen was showing colours incorrectly anyway, so it's maybe not surprising. Uh, do I need anything else here? What's my armour like, actually? Good. Let's go into the nether. I don't even know when this video is going to post because it is Thursday at the moment and I don't know if I'm going to post this on the Monday coming up or if I'm going to hold on to it and stockpile before I start posting every Monday again. Because I do want to get back to posting every Monday. Hello Nether! So today's goal is safe pathways. I wanted to improve on this. I'm probably not going to stick to what I started doing, but we'll, we'll continue doing things. Ooh, I'm, if I fall into lava, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit sad. I could use half slabs on the floor, and that would make it a lot easier. I'm using my pinky to hold down shift, and my pinky is... my pinky nail is awkwardly long, and it makes holding down the shift kind of awkward, actually. So I'm very worried I'm going to fall into the lava. 
But I guess it doesn't matter if I fall into the lava because since I've got the fire resistant potion, it's just inconvenient. Uh, I'm gonna put a top on this as well. Do I want it to be two blocks high? Like this is where the top is? Or. Hmm. I mean, I guess that would stop Enderman from appearing inside it. Is this, does this have silk touch? It does not. Definitely going to want to use a silk touch pick for placing glass. Because I'm sure I will place many blocks wrong. I should also make a glass tube around my ladder here. That would probably make it safer. I don't know how many of these pathways I'm going to do. Um, I'll just do whatever ones I happen to come across that haven't been prettied up. Maybe I'll put some flowers with grass, grass in some places too. That would be nice. Yeah. Yay. That's one section of the tunnel complete. See, now running through this will be really safe because the Enderman won't be able to appear in this, in this, in this size thing, and you can't be seen through glass, so it'll be nice and safe. And then I'll also have the little bits where things branch off, obviously. I'll probably put doors there, maybe. I should actually have bought some doors in with me, maybe. I bought these lanterns and I haven't used them yet. I guess if the if the sides, the top and the bottom are all glass, do you really need lanterns to add light? Hmm. Much to think about. Probably. I probably still need to use the lanterns for a little bit of light. I will add a lantern momentarily, and we will see how much difference it makes. Oh wait, I could do little. I could do little stripes of stripes of. Um... I also like the glass because it means you can see every angle, like you can see everything that's around you, and I think that's really useful. I think, I'm thinking I might add more signs around, so as I discover what different paths lead to, I can add two signs, and, and then we can all not get lost in the nether. Yeah, I think this is actually alright with, with, the, with the squish above. I like it, I like it. Um, do I want to go through and do this roofing part as far down as I can? That probably makes sense. It's probably going to take me ages to do all of this, and I'm going to have to keep gathering glass, but that is fine. Glass. Just as long as I don't have any gas blow up my glass as I'm working on it, that would be kind of annoying. Or if any endermen come along and steal pieces of glass. I know that guy over there is thinking about stealing my glass. They're always thinking about stealing my blocks. And this glass is nice looking. I know they want it. I'll fix that out of place glass block later. Or I won't. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Enderman, you are going to be in for a rough time when you realise you are no longer welcome on this pathway. Ugh. Um, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I can do this.
Ha ha. Don't get me. You stole a dirt block. You deserve this. This to all who steal my blocks. See, like here, as you can see, there's a bit that paths off. So, obviously, I'd put doors there. Two, three. One, two. So I'd have doors here, and then people can still get in there. I don't know whose pathway going off that was. I went down there when I needed to grab lava, and I don't think there's anything other than just a long tunnel, and I don't know if that tunnel goes anywhere, but obviously I don't want to erase this tunnel if it is something people are, that someone is using. Glass, glass, glass. I don't know if Pikmin will appear in this in the in these glass tunnels. I'm assuming not, but I guess there is always the chance of them appearing because they can. You know, they they are two block tall, so they can appear in here. I need some doors, don't I? Oh, I've got dark oak on me. Is that dark oak? Yeah, it's dark oak. Um, I think over around here, the only reason I haven't changed that to glass is because I don't want to do this, redo the sign, I assume. Oh, that was a waste of glass. It fell down into the lava. I could have a little crafting room here. Why not? Little crafting room, little crafting room. There's no doubt I will need to be able to craft as I build this thing. Glass. Oh, my fire resistance is running out. That's not very lovely. Mm -hmm. There we go. We'll keep it the same height, so then we still don't get Enderman in here. Ugh, there we go. No Endermans in here. Yay. I'm not even going to bother replacing this floor bit that I've done stone, because I'm lazy. Or maybe one day in future I will replace it, but for now, no. I guess another difficult part is, if you're not paying attention, it would be very easy that to not notice if a block from the floor was gone, and just go, floop, right into lava blow. Maybe I should do, like, a backup path that goes underneath this glass path. So if a block is missing, it's not as bad. That might be an idea. Ah. Uh. I don't want to turn it all into planks. One crafting table. And now we have doors. Thank you for my doors. For I guess you can't get tall mobs down here, so maybe I should have this taller and just deal with the endermen. Or if people have animals that are taller, they can go on the roof on top of the glass. Just go really fast so you don't blow things up. Mm. We won't need all these torches soon because all the lanterns will be here. Yay, lanterns. I need more glass, don't I? Glass, glass, glass. And my shovel also needs repaired. I guess I could make a secondary tunnel above that's taller. Um, I will give an example. 
I need more glass though. Definitely need more glass. So we could have this main tunnel that's safe from Enderman, and then above, um, one, two, three, four. Have a tunnel that's like this that you can ride horses down. And it's still safe from ghast. And I don't need more, um, more, more frog lights because it's still lit from the blow stuff. So this can be the horse, horse donkey big thing trick. It means more building, but you know what? It's, it's better than not having safe passage. I like safe passages. And I very clearly need more glass now. I'm going to need so much glass. <laughs> I'm going to need an obnoxious amount of glass. I wonder if anyone at the at this at this at the at the bowl sells um, glass. I'll have to go have a look at that when I get bored of getting glass. I guess my cats today. I have four cats, and two of them have escaped today. Um, So Akira, she likes to dart out the door when I'm coming in. Like, if I'm paying enough attention, I can usually just slap a hand on her and stop her. But today, she managed to squish on out the door because I had things in my hands. And she went underneath the van, and I had to crawl under the van and grab her. Previously, she would be really difficult to catch because she would bite and scratch. But today, she grumbled a bit, but she let me grab her at least. And um, that was fine. And then Lily, I took her in to visit um, my grandparents. So I took her into their house. And the cat door was locked. So cats could come in, but it, they couldn't go out. And so instead of... So since she couldn't push the door open to get it open, she pulled it open and got out. <laughs> so then when I took her to visit again later, when it was night time, she, the cat door was locked, so cats couldn't come in or out, and she went through the cat door. I don't know how she did it, but she managed to get the door open anyway. So, she's a little bit of a criminal. She was running around outside, and I had to go outside, and it was muddy and dark and not nice. She's just a little bit of a bully, and now she's just curled up asleep with her little paw over her face, and she's very happy with herself, because she got to sprint around outside while I tried to catch her. At one point I lost track of where she went, because she went under the shed, and I went to go over there to crouch to try and reach under and grab her, and she went shooting out from under the shed, zoomed through under the truck, and then went, I don't know where she went from there, so we were looking around, we thought she might have gone up the driveway, and then she hadn't gone up the driveway apparently, so I went to walk around to the other side of the house, and she was just at my grandparents' other door, sitting on the steps, so I went to grab her, she quickly ran off, zoomed around the house to the other door, and stood there like she couldn't understand why she couldn't go in the door. Because <laughs> she went to the people door and it was shut because it's cold and night time. So I managed to grab her then. And then she had muddy feet so she sat for a while attempting to clean her feet. And now she is just snoozing being a little baby. I only took her for that second visit to my grandparents too because she was sitting at the door crying because she really wanted to go see them. Either that or she wanted to go outside to the cage because they have a cage outside for for um, them to go outside safely. And I don't typically put them in the cage while it's dark out. So I assume she wanted to go see the grandparents. Ugh. I think I do just need to go to the end and use the Enderman farm to repair all my junk. I do also just need a lot of glass. So I guess I can go to spawn, see if anyone sells glass. And then I can go to the end. And then since I've slept in a bed here, when I come back through the portal, I'll be here. Oh. Um, I guess I'll leave that bit of coal there. 
I didn't realise I had a bucket of lava in my inventory still. Glass, glass, glass. Do I even have any diamonds? I haven't actually looked at my diamond amount. Sand, sand, sand. I just really want to have no sand left in my inventory, please. Yes! No more sand. Let's go to spawn now. Uh, drop off a few things. I don't want to carry those around. Um, I'll put my copper into blocks. Copper blocks. So I don't want to carry around the copper either. Ah, I've got a lot of copper. I was thinking of doing a copper roof, but then I thought that collecting the copper would be annoying. I do have some diamonds. Cool, cool, cool. But I am, in fact... Wait, do I have any speed potions? Ugh, why do I have a random block of that cobbly stuff? This is just inventory anyone can take from, but um, people can also put chests and put their name in it if they want to have some storage in this guest house. Um, I thought I had speed potions, but if I do, I don't know where they are. Maybe in my house. This isn't really my house house, it's just my little storage shack. Um, Lily, you are snoring. I thought, weren't the potion colours changed to be better for colourblind people? How is this and this easy to tell apart? How are those two easy to tell apart? Honey. Apparently I do not have any speed potions. Or if I did, I don't know where they are. Okay, back into the nether we go, but this time we are going to spawn. Hello, Strider. This will be a very long project I'm seeing. But that is fine. I like a long project. Gives me plenty to do. Probably should have grabbed more food. I don't actually know how much food I have at that base I'm just leaving. I'll obviously have to widen up this section of the tunnel. But that is fine. Uh, and widen up this section of the tunnel. Um, I guess I don't need as much glass going through this little section. Didn't really mean to start doing this right now, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do the thing. Yeah. This little corner part is a little bit weird, isn't it? Mm. Gotta be careful about Endermen still. Enderman, Enderman, bloop bloop. Yeah, we'll just have a bit that widens into three, I guess. Um, oh, there's a little pathway there. Don't want to cover that up, I guess. Mm, I wonder if they'll mind if it's a little bit different. So it can go here. I 
I will have to find out where this path goes to, so I can put a proper signage. And if they don't make it pretty by the time I get to where I would be able to do this section, I will make a glass tunnel for them. There. this should do for this section at the moment. Um, let's get back to that. I'm surprised I haven't encountered any ghast. I keep expecting like a ghast to just suddenly appear, but they have not, and that is probably a really good thing, as I do not like ghasts. For I guess I do have a bow on me, and it is an infinity bow, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. But I'm also not fire resistant at this moment in time. I still have this little strip of cobblestone to get rid of. But that does fain. Glass, 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 glass. I've still got this little glitzy bit. Um, how tall do I want this bit? that should do. Obviously I'll have to come back later and finish off this bit, but this will do for now in terms of it being safe. We've widened the path. Oh. And people can now sprint down here and still not be, still not accidentally run off the side. That'll do. Didn't mean to place that one there. And soon Enderman won't be able to appear in here, which will be yay. No Enderman. Maybe we should have um, And we could do cool. One there. Still lots to do, but I've run out of glass. So onwards we go. I don't need this piece of warped stuff, thank you. You can go right there. Or is this someone's pathway that someone's done? I don't know. I do like this, so I'm probably going to leave this as is and just add glass over the top. And glass in between. Because I'm not sure if they've been continuing it, but, you know, I'm not going to rip out anything that's already been done. Do you think anyone would notice if I got rid of all this cobble and placed something nicer here? This should take me into the middle of the bowl. Ugh, I thought I was going to go plummeting for a second there. 
Lily is snoring. How lovely of her. Little snore lady. Didn't realize it was going to be night time. Is this the direction of the slime block? This is the direction of the slime block. Bong. Boing. I haven't actually visited my shop in a while. So we'll go there. I've got a. Mm, I don't want to sleep in my bed at the shop because I want to be taken back to my um, other base when I when I when I when I come out of the end. I do like this little tunnel here. I think Finn did very nicely on that. Lily, you are still snoring. You are such a loud snorer. My lovely copper that has changed colour. Hello, shop. I have not been here in so long. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Free egg. Free cookie. I haven't done anything in those. I don't particularly remember what was in these. No one took all that terracotta stuff, though. Hello. Anything in there? No. Anything in there? No. Mm. I guess we're free to go have a look around, see if anyone's selling glass. I'm guessing if anyone is selling glass, it's most likely to be Cosley, if they've bothered to gather glass. Don't know. Do any villagers have glass? I'm not entirely sure. Um, what kind of shop was this? The power, the power, it, what? Wow, you've been making some dough. Um, is there anything in this building? Hello, nothing. The slime shop, I think, just sells slime. Hello, shop. Nothing in there. Sand. I guess I could buy some... Ooh, glass. I could buy some sand, though, if I didn't want to dig for it. One diamond is three stacks, and they only have three stacks in stock. So I guess I'll buy the only stacks you have in stock. Um, could you please stock more? Toby's deforestation and flattening services. I see. So you won't have glass there. Um, and I'm pretty sure the shop here only sells axolotls. Hello, little shop. Mailbox. Fishy, fishy, fishy. And I think the shop over there only sells shroom lights. I think a newspaper on the server would be fun. If I made a newspaper, I'd, I wouldn't be inclined to make it on the server, though. It would just be a, a thing I send on the on the Discord every so often, probably. Or I guess I could make a, a newsletter I post on Twitter. I don't know. There are a lot of fun things that could be done around the theme of newsletter. Um, Finn was doing that up there. I think Cosley was going to do one of the little buildings in there. Um, I can't get up there, though, because I don't fly. Um, Lily, could you keep your snoring a little quieter? I don't know what's up there. Um, does Kurt sell glass? I, I'm not sure if Tessa's been on lately, because I know Tessa had their little um, place up here. Interesting place for a horse. Yeah, I don't think Tessa has been on lately. 
I don't really know who's been on because I haven't been on. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing Tessa hasn't been on if all that stuff is in there. Blocks, blocks, blocks. What a lovely looking place. Let's take a screenshot of how the server looks today. Splush, splush, splush. Mm, let's go check out Kurt's homesteading and trading service. Was that what it said? I don't know. We'll assume that I re remembered that correctly. There is still this here. I don't have a diamond in my inventory right now. Um, stairs are over there. Um, not liable for injuries past red line. Okay. I don't know how I'd get injured on stairs. I guess if I fell off. But I do not plan on falling off the stairs. Zoom, 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 zoom. Huh? Huh? Among us. Um... The f the, the, I think Kurt's over that way. Do not sure what's going on here, and I don't know how to get to the ground. Blonk. think Kurt's place is over in this direction. There's an Enderman over there. Yeah, I think that little building I'm seeing is part of Kurt's place. I hope Kurt has an Ender chest if they are selling glass. Just need a lot of glass. I need so much glass. I need more glass than you could ever imagine. What is this? What is this? I don't think this is shop. I think this is just Kurt's little personal home kind of area. Uh, but something's happened here. I think. Maybe Kurt moved out? I don't know. Didn't Kurt have an above ground house somewhere? Please, I am directionally challenged. Is the house gone? Wasn't it here? Um, I'm going to head for the end now. I could easily be extremely off about where the end is and get very, very lost, but hopefully we will not get lost. I know Cosley has, like, a thing over here, so I head towards that, and then I go to the left, no, to the right. Yeah, this is where Cosley has their, um, villagers. So I come to here... I go up the mountain, and then I head all the way in that direction, and that is where the end is. Sometimes I remember directions to places. Only sometimes, though. Most of the time, I do not. But also, I've just made the trip to the end plenty of times. Not sure what that up in the sky is meant to be. Uh, we still have a lot of running to do. I should have gotten speed potions. I could have bought some, I guess, at, um, I think Avalon sells potions. I feel like I heard a donkey, but I don't know if I heard a donkey. There's a sheep over there. I'm going to need a lot of wool also. So, I do also need sheep. Do I have sheep at my spawn base? I do not remember. Should probably be careful sprinting down the mountain. I'm not wearing leather booties. 
for snow that you fall into. Who knows if I'll even make it to where I'm going. Do I need to climb this mountain? I don't like climbing mountains. Or do I just run through the forest? Please help, I'm directionally challenged. I don't even have any ender pearls to make that easier. Uh, I hope I do not get terribly lost. I would like to not be terribly lost. Oh. Pumpkins! I think I've already had pumpkins, so I don't need to grab these pumpkins. Hello, pumpkins! It's interesting to think about how much Minecraft has changed in the last 10 years. Like, it's, it, it doesn't always feel like it's the same game. Mm. Cat under my chair just yawned, and Lily has stopped snoring. I think it's Kira that's under my chair. She tends to be the one that's under there. Serafina, when she comes and sleeps in the room, she usually loafs on the cat tree that's behind me. I have four cat trees in my place now, which should be enough cat trees for four cats. I have a cat tree that sits next to my desk. I've got two desks in this room. I've got the desk that I'm at with my computer right now, and then I've got a desk behind me. And next to that desk is the cat tree. And then in my kitchen is... Um, Terry's chair that's got her pink fluffy bed, and on either side of it is two cat trees. And then there's a cat tree up by my in my bedroom by my bed, because the cats like to perch on that. And they use it to get up on, they climb it to get up onto the bed. Either that or they jump directly onto the bed, you know. They have choices. I am sprinting through the mountains, I am looking for an end portal, and I don't know if I'm going in the right direction. There's a double chest down here. I want to know what's in the chest. Hello items, nothing. I'm still unsure if I'm even going in the right direction. I feel like I'm probably not in the right place, and I'm not sure. Uh, I am incredibly lost. Yep, this is my review currently. I am incredibly lost. I would like to not be lost, please. Especially not at night time. I miss having mods. Actually, I'm sure if I booted up my laptop, I could get unlost by following the the mini map on there. But then, um, I think it's still on an old version of Minecraft. I'd say it would be, because they haven't updated it. Um, so... I could either install mods onto my computer, or I could update Minecraft on my laptop. And both of those sound annoying to do, so I would like to just magically become not lost. I think I need to go more this way. Uh. I am incredibly, incredibly lost. I do not want to be lost at night time. Being lost at night time is not fun. Hmm. My face is cold. I hope I'm heading in the right direction, and I'm not sure if I am. I just know the end portal is in a snowy biome on a mountain by a village. Ooh. Uh,
It's a pig. Oh, hello, lava. Hello, dog. Um... I am looking. My eyeballs are wide open. I am looking. I am lost. I am so, so lost. I am not the most lost I've ever been, but I am decently lost. I am 17 seasons worth of lost. I don't actually know how many seasons the TV show Lost had, but I think it had a lot of them. I get the impression it had a lot of them, and I think a lot of people didn't like the ending. I don't know how it ended. I don't even know how it began. I don't know anything about the TV show Lost. I've never watched it, and I never will. Uh. So my quest to find the end portal didn't go well. Clearly. Oh, this must be the right direction, right? Because I, I saw bricks down there. I think. Maybe. I'm pretty sure I saw bricks down there. Oh, no, that was regular stone. Or diorite. I don't know. Either way, it wasn't bricks. Oh. I continue to be lost. Is there just lava over here? There is just lava over here. How tragic of me to become so lost. Will I ever find my way home? Who knows? I may end up just having to either install Minecraft mod mods or update on the laptop. I thought I saw lights and <gasps> I am found! I am found. I am no longer lost. I have found my way. It is a miracle, a Christmas miracle. Praise the me. Praise me, because I'm the one that became unlost. I wonder if there's any villagers that are still alive here. I'd be a little bit surprised if there was. Um, wait. Is this even the correct place? Is this a different village? Is this a different village to the one I was looking for? D -d -d no! Cold! Is this not the village I was looking for? This isn't the right village, is it? Oh. I continue to be lost. There's an igloo over there. Wait. There's usually boats in the frozen river by the village that has the end portal and I'm not seeing a bunch of boats so I don't think this is the right place and this village kind of looks different but where's the correct one? do I follow this frozen stream? will that take me to the correct place? I am, I am not found, I am so lost And I think one of the cats has done a stinky poop in their litter box. Cat. Hello, Igloo. Igloo's got a basement. Oh, I see. And it's still got the things down here. 
Oh, it's fun. It's so pog. Um, do I want to cure this guy? I mean, everything's here to be able to cure him. I guess I will end the video here, and I hope that I stop being lost before the next video. I will see you in it, whenever it happens to be posted. Ciao ciao!